right, everybody, welcome to another edition of Shits and Giggles. I'm Fez doing a Cooking with Fez segment, but today we're not gonna cook anything. We're gonna make some homemade mayo, simple. All right, we're gonna start with some. It's gotta be extra light. You don't want too heavy of an olive oil flavor, so an extra light olive oil. I'm gonna bring that right to a cup. You need a fair amount of oil for this. So we're just gonna get that all in there. Slow drip. All right, we're gonna put a touch of vinegar, not a lot. That's it. We're also gonna put a little bit of salt in there. Not a lot. One egg, which best way to make this would be to leave your egg out at room temperature for about an hour beforehand. But if you don't get a chance to do that, you can just put it in a little bit of warm water, like lukewarm, because you don't want to cook this egg. So we're gonna add that guy in there as well. Fresh lemon. Squeeze it. It's basically to your discretion. Fair amount. A little bit of Dijon mustard. I'm gonna say a teaspoon. That'll work best. And if we need to sweeten this up at all, we're gonna add a little bit of sugar. But generally, you shouldn't have to. Now, I'm gonna infuse mine with a little bit of garlic. This California garlic spice. Very good. But again, just a tiny, tiny little bit of that. So then we're gonna take it over here and we're gonna whip this up. like mayo already okay all right so now we've got our mayo it was as simple as that under five minutes only a handful of ingredients and there's some garlic mayo keep it in your fridge make sure it's an airtight container glass is always best so if you have a mason jar but I wouldn't keep it for any more than a week keep in mind you don't have any preservatives in this guy all right you can also use this for any salad dressing so maybe on one of our next editions we'll do some Caesar salad dressing all right Thanks for joining us today and don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you soon.